Hey y'all, this is Bradley of Bradley Teaches. And yesterday I did a YouTube end screen and it came out okay, you know, it's kind of basic and things like that, but then my juices started flowing and today we're gonna kick that thing up a notch, right? So let's get to it. Another end screen, but more. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so here we are in Keynote. And let's start a new presentation. I'm gonna do a select all delete. And let me zoom out a little bit. And what I wanna do is first, right, I'm gonna go Apple R to get my ruler and get that top guideline so we know what the safe space is for where our stuff is gonna be. And I want to do my guide box uh, to put in here. So let's get that. We're gonna to go to format arrange and that is 1840 by 780. All right, we're gonna place that centered in there. So then we know that's our safe space there. Style, border, no fill. And this time, I'm not gonna put a subscribe button. I'm just gonna go with two video windows, right? So let's go here and we'll go back to a range and that's gonna be 615 by 354, okay? So we're going to go with two video screens this time and no subscribe button, no fill, line border. Okay. So I'm going to go over here to my object list now and let's copy that triangle by holding down option and dragging. All right. So that's, that's a good spot for where I want that, right? And let's drag this one over because what essentially what I really want to do is figure out how to align my text with it, right? So that's why I have them there. So that's a good spot like that. And so here we go. Now let's get the text and stuff done first because the animation I wanna do is not a text animation. We're gonna make the actual video the animation, right? The whole thing. So let's go to text and go, thank you for watching, all right. That's cool. We're gonna put it roughly here because we know it won't really interfere with the space for our video, so that's fine. And I know I'm gonna have a bottom kind of footer shape down here. And probably about that big. And let's copy that text. And let's break that rectangle down to the bottom. I'm going to say, follow me. All right. All right, now let's get into the cool stuff. Let's go to background. We're going to do a gray background fill on this because it doesn't have to be transparent. Let's do a gray. I want to put some more text in there for the videos. So let's go option. And I want it to be centered on the box. Okay, we're gonna have, I'm gonna add some text here and we're gonna say one of them, watch next. And we'll call the other one, most watched. We'll pretty much label them what we're gonna make the ideal form, right? Option. All right, and let's change the fonts on those. Those don't have to be that big and bold. I like that. 72. Okay, now we can basically delete the boxes. We don't need them anymore. We've gotten all that stuff out of the way, right? So now we're going to get to the fun part. Let me color that. That's a good color. All right, I'm gonna do all of this in one color. I know when I was originally thinking about it, I was gonna do it in multiple colors and you can do it in multiple colors, what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna do it in one color right now just for the sake of speed, right? So let's go to shape, triangle. We're gonna drag a triangle out and put it at the bottom. And so now let's colorize it, style, 
I'll make it that color blue with the shadow on it. Offset. Blur. Really blurred. And let's move it up. Okay. So all we're about to do now is just copy and paste this uh, triangle a lot. Maybe. Well, let's come back. Four total. All right. So let's do the next one. Up here. Let's drag that one to the bottom. Do the next one. Here. Drag it to the bottom. Then let's do the next one. All right. And drag it to the bottom. Okay, so we have these four triangles here. If I can get that line back up, it's not that big a deal. All right. All right, so now we have those four triangles. So now we're about to do triangles on the other side, the flip side of it. So we can go to Shape, Triangle, and go to Arrange, and let's rotate this triangle. Like that's fine. And now we're going to make it big. And they don't have to be perfect triangles as part of the, you know, the creative process, right? So now let's go back to style. We'll make it blue. Same color blue. And we're going to put a shadow on it. And let's throw that shadow in this direction. And everything is under the yellow for right now. Okay. All right, so now we're going to copy this one four times. Two, well, let's copy it three more times. I have four. All right, so there we go. So one, drag it to the bottom. Two, drag it to the bottom. Three, drag it to the bottom. All right, so there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the triangles of each direction between each other. Right? Okay. And now let's make this text white. And let's put a shadow on it. All right. And make these white also. Okay, so finally, all I have to do now is find my social media icons to put across the bottom. And then I'm going to do the animation. And then we'll be wrapped up. So let me zoom out some more. So I can have space to drag those in. All right, so here they are. That's okay. So we'll do zoom out 75. Uh oh, that's too big. All right, so we're going to do Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, right? So let's go to mask. Twitter, that's done. So we'll copy it. Drag one over. And now we change the mask. Or click on the image and move it inside the mask. That's even better. Facebook. Done. And then finally we'll copy another one. Option drag to copy another one. Then drag it over. Double click it. And now we need to click down here on the image icon so we can move it. There's Instagram. All right. So now we have our social icons. Let's drag those over here. OK. 
Okay. There we go. Follow me on social media at Bradley Teaches. All right. So we're going to utilize Magic Move and really knock this thing out of the park. So we're going to copy this slide, copy, paste, right? And um, the middle slide and the bottom slide. So the middle slide, we're going to leave the text as is. We're just going to move all the triangles. So now we're on the second slide. We're just going to click triangles and move them. And if we got to make some of them a little bit bigger, that's fine too. All right, then let's click these. I really want that to look like it's closing up, so. All right, and have that one, make it thin. And finally, that one, and we'll blow it up some. Okay, and then finally, we just copy that first slide again, paste it, but now it's on the bottom, right? So we have open, closed, open, right? So here we go. Let's go to the first slide. We're going to go to animate, add an effect, magic move. Then all the triangles move, right? Then we're going to go to the second slide. And we're going to go to Animate, Magic Move, and they go back, right? But we're going to have it uh, automatically, then it'll wait. Let's have it wait for three seconds, four seconds. Okay. So, starts off, animates, stays, animates, open. Then it's going to just rotate, right? So, now if I go to File, Export to Movie. And we do zero, zero on these as usual. And next. And we'll call this end two. And now you'll be able to watch this one at the end of this video and let me know what you think. So now we have the opportunity to do animated backgrounds that because they're actually part of the movie. And I'd like to know what you think about this one, right? Jump in here and do something similar. Do different colors in it, right? Do squares, do whatever, and just have them ebb and flow in and out. So that's it, y'all. And I am Bradley Vinson, Alana's Papa. Be blessed, be free, be good to yourselves, be good to one another, and stay tuned to watch the end screen. See y'all later. Bye-bye.